In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use the garbage collection log to determine if a data collector is experiencing performance issues related to memory. Let's get started. Data collector can sometimes start running slow or become unresponsive when there is very little free space in the Java virtual machine heap. The heap is the main area of memory used by data collector in order to temporarily store objects while pipelines are processing batches of data. Once a majority of the heap space is utilized, a garbage collection cycle must be run in order to free space and the heat for future use. Garbage collection cycles are necessary and will normally take less than a second to run. However, the application will be temporarily paused during the cycle. If the Java virtual machine needs to run garbage collection cycles nonstop in order to free up memory, then the application will appear to be slow or unresponsive. Here's a list of common scenarios which can cause data collectors to become unresponsive. Running too many pipelines on a single data collector. Pipeline settings examples include high batch size. If each record is one megabyte in size and the batch size is 10,000, then at least 10 gigabytes of heap space is required to run the pipeline. Number of threads. If the memory required for a batch is one gigabyte and the number of threads property is set to five, then at least five gigabytes of heap space will be required while running the pipeline. Memory leak in a scripting processor stage. Scripting processor stages are custom scripts written by your team in either Groovy Jython or JavaScript. An example of a memory leak would be to append a value on an array for each record for every batch. This would eventually cause the array to utilize all of the heat space. Since values in the array are referenced in this stage, the array is never considered as garbage and is never free during a garbage collection cycle. Now let's see what steps you can take to determine if the data collector is experiencing issues related to garbage collection. First, do not restart the data collector. Restarting the data collector will cause the garbage collection log to be wiped. Next, retrieve the garbage collection log. To do this, open up the data collector interface, click the administration icon, which is located in the upper right corner, click on SDC directories. Note the log directory, pull the gc.log file from the noted directory. Alternatively, if the data collector is unresponsive, then go to the command line of the instance of the running data collector. Locate the data collection process, such as the ps command. Note dsdc.log.dir setting. Common locations for dgc.log file is slash bar slash log slash sdc or the log subdirectory of the installation directory. The installation directory is going to be dsdc.dist.dir setting. How you retrieve this log will vary depending on your environment. Contact your system administrator for further assistance. Next, upload the garbage collection log to an analysis tool. In this case, you're going to be using a particular tool called GC Easy. Your garbage collection log will not contain any sensitive information. Click on Choose File and locate the garbage collection log, and then click Analyze. If the garbage collection log is large, then it can either be compressed or split into numerous files. The generator page will contain a high-level view of the Java Virtual Machine's garbage collection behavior. This first section, JVM Memory Size, will show how much memory is allocated to the heap, in addition to the peak usage. This section is informative, however, it is not necessarily an indication of a problem. The Key Performance Indicator section will contain key metrics, which could be indicative of a problem. In this example, our throughput is about 25% and our average and maximum pause garbage collection time is about 8 and 41 seconds, respectively. The expected throughput of a healthy application will generally be above 95%, with an average pause time of less than a second. 
As you can see here, these key performance indicators do not indicate a healthy application. More information can be obtained from the interactive graph section. The initial view of heap usage after GC shows how much memory is freed after each garbage collection cycle. The red triangle indicates that a full garbage collection cycle was completed. In general, the usage displayed in this chart should not stay consistently high. Furthermore, garbage collections should generally be spaced apart and not together. If you click the pause GC duration button, you see duration time. If you mouse over the red triangle, you can see how long the application was paused and when it paused. The frequency and length of these cycles show the application is spending most of its time attempting to free heap space. This is an example of a healthy application. The key performance indicators show a throughput of 99% with an average pause of 177 milliseconds. You can see the heap usage climbing and dropping. As memory is freed and the pause GC durations tab is showing mostly sub-second pauses. Use this information to determine if your application performance is suffering due to memory usage and garbage collection. Memory statistics are not available on a per-pipeline basis. So, the best troubleshooting method is to stop running pipelines one by one and observe if memory usage continues to remain high between each stop. The opposite approach can also be taken by starting pipelines one by one and observing memory usage. Memory usage can be observed by clicking the administration icon, then clicking SDC metrics. The area of focus for this will be the heat memory usage box. It's important to note that garbage collection behavior will vary. For example, sometimes a garbage collection cycle will occur when only 30% of the heap space is used, while at other times garbage collection will not occur until 65% of the heap space is used. If you are not able to determine which pipeline is causing the memory issue, then a heap dump will have to be analyzed. Please open a ticket with your support team for further assistance. In summary, you've learned about the overview of common scenarios which can cause data collectors to become unresponsive, and how to use the garbage collection log to determine if a data collector is experiencing performance issues related to memory.